Okay, makes a vibration sound. Ah. Yeah, it's going to hum. Wait. Okay. You ready? It's yeah. going to be okay. What's up you guys? I just got to my appointment at Flawless, but I'm waiting in my car because we still have to wait, you know, so there's not so it doesn't get crowded inside. So, yeah, you just wait for them to text you to come on in. So there's less people inside waiting. I just like I said, I came with no makeup on and we're about to see what is going to happen with this facial. I hope it works good. All right, I'm just waiting to get the numbing on my face now. So she was explaining that what the needles going into your face, it is stimulating more collagen growth. And that's how you get rid of fine lines and wrinkles and help with your pores. How often do, you, do people usually get them? Usually a month apart, you can go as much as six weeks. Okay. And you usually want to get a minimum of three to kind of get that, um, probably the best effect that you're trying to look for here. Okay. Skin tone does not matter one bit. Okay. You know, so it's very safe, not gonna cause any pigmentation issues, nothing. Yeah, I actually read that it helps with pigmentation. It does. I've had um, a number of women, I'm going as high in your scalp as I can, so you will have a little numbing cream okay. right at the hairline, but <laughs> I, I'm going to do my best to get it off you before we let you go. Okay. And so what do you see as your most problem area? Is it My nose. Nose? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Any chin issues or you feel pretty good like lower neck? Are you okay with that? Mm, I don't have bad chin issues. No, I don't see any either. I'll probably go right to the jawline now. Okay. You know, we won't cover your lips, but I'm gonna go right up to them. So okay. if your lips get a little numb from this, it's just because we drug it down. Okay. You can feel dry afterwards. That's totally normal. Yeah, I have very, very oily skin. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to give you this little Hydra gel. Okay. Um, and you may need to use a little less, mm -hmm. or you may not need much when you do use it. Okay. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I got you. It's covered. everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> So I have to sit with this numbing cream on my face for about 30 minutes. Um, if you look the procedure up, some people will do it for an hour, but I think that's a long time, but a half an hour should do it. I look crazy. Microneedling is different than the vampire facial. I think I'm going to try the microneedling first because um, the vampire facial uses your blood and I haven't tried either of them, so I was just thinking I should try the microneedling first and then see about the vampire facial. The microneedling facial is $400. I didn't ask the price on the vampire facial, but I'll have that information for you when I do that facial. So I'm just gonna sit here and let my face numb. I already feel it around my lips. It feels really numb, but not much anywhere else. And if you guys don't know, it's gonna be like a bunch of little needles rotating on your skin. So that's why you have to be numb. So those are the needles? Those are the needles. So this rotates at an extremely rapid rate. Okay. And then um, we can set the depth of how deep we want to go. Mm -hmm. So uh, typically uh, 0.25, 0.5 is like forehead. Okay. Okay, then we go a little higher and we'll just do a test. This is the hydrogel. It's gonna provide so that it glides. You want it to go smoothly okay. over the skin. Yeah. So we use a little bit of 
this just to make sure we can accomplish that. Okay, makes a vibration sound. Ah. Yeah, it's gonna hum. Wait. <laughs> you ready? It's yeah. gonna be okay. I'm and all scared. I'm gonna do is just touch it. Mm, it's all right. What do we think about that? You okay? Yeah. Shouldn't be painful. It should just be vibratory. Uh, okay. You tell me. Is it painful? No. Are you just scared? <laughs> yeah, I'm just nervous. <laughs> You're just nervous? Yeah. I'm going to my do two or three passes on this. It'll be, yeah, uh, I'm over it. Okay. I'm over it. That little nose. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, I'm gonna come right up in between. You okay? <sighs> yeah. Why is, is it painful? It's so, not painful. It's just I could just feel it. A you lot feel right it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you just have more nerve innervation. Mm -hmm. Okay, doing the circular. This is our last one. Okay. I just look kind of red, so I did every, my whole face. Ooh. I feel like. I look a little shiny, you know? Well, All right, so this is how my face is looking right after the treatment. This is like the um, cream stuff that, this is like the stuff that she had on my face. I don't want to touch it because she said, do not wipe or put anything on my face, not even water, until tomorrow morning. And she gave me some stuff to put on my face tomorrow. I will show you guys. Hey guys, I'm back from the gym and I'm not gonna lie, my face did start stinging a little bit when I was working out, just in like some areas, mainly above the lip. And that's where I felt it the most when I was actually getting the microneedling done. Like I could feel the pricks in my, above my lip the most. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna rinse it off. And she said to only use water the day after to um, rinse off your face. So I'm just gonna take one of these sponges and kind of like dab my face. Like you don't wanna scrub or anything. I'm just kind of dabbing it to remove yesterday's serum and my sweat. So it's recommended not to do anything to your face for six or more hours right when you get it done. And I didn't do anything, you know, the whole night because that's better. But today it says that if you had to like put makeup on or something, you can put on makeup, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna to try to just let my face kind of just like heal for like the next two to three days because she said that it's basically open little small wounds on your face and anything you put on your face is going to maybe get in and close and you don't want that to happen. So that's why I'm just gonna not put anything on my face except the serum that she gave me for the first two or three days. It's not recommended to use like toners or like anything with alcohol on your face for about two weeks because it's going to sting. I'm just using a paper towel. I always use a paper towel to dry my face just because it's clean. And you don't wanna use a dirty towel that has stuff on it and you're putting it back on your skin. So this Skin Fuse is a rescue calming serum. And this is the only thing that I'm gonna put on my face. And this is just to keep it from getting too dry because your face will get dry after you get the procedure. And it just looks like the clear. I'm just gonna use about that much. Put that all over my face.
So I will be keeping you guys updated on how my skin changes over the next few days. And obviously this is something that you have to do more than once. So it's recommended every four to six weeks and I'm gonna keep up with it and let you guys know if it's recommended. But yeah, that's everything. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If there's any other questions that you have about this procedure, let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.